<laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Ryan at Pie Records. I'm here with the guys and girl from Punch Drunk. How you doing, guys? Hi. Hi. Uh, hey. You all good? Hey. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, good. So how is good. everything in Nottingham right now? <laughs> in interesting. <laughs> Yeah, we're being, we're, we're, we're being, in, we're being locked down again. Yeah. So for the second know. time. For the second time, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's been a it's been a it's been a funny old year. Oh boy. Yeah, 2020 has been sucky all the way through, especially yeah. in the UK. We had the first couple of months, and I think that was it. But in terms of gigs going out, mixing with friends, any of that kind of stuff is kind of really not on the cards at the moment. So. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of the world all over at the moment. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about how you guys got together. How long have you been together and how did you guys meet up? Go on, Colette, I'll let you do this one. Oh, how long has it been now, though? How many years? 2016. 2016. So 2016. Um, so prior to that, Graham and I have been friends for a while um and and a while back he said to me i've got all these songs ready um i just uh when i decide i'm ready to play them would you play drums so i said yeah um and then uh he asked ben if ben had played bass and he said yeah and we were still waiting to hear the songs uh, and then he just came around to the house one night and with his acoustic guitar played us a couple, they were amazing. And we were like, yep, yeah, we're in, when are we gonna play? So we just got together. Um, Graham had a bunch of songs ready to go. And um, yeah, we uh, we had a jam, wrote our parts and uh, that's how Sassy came about, the album. So, so tell me a little bit about Sassy. Um... How would you describe the album musically um, as far as <laughs> genre goes? Uh, it's kind of, I suppose, in a way, it's a bit pop punky. It has a bit of a emo slant. I mean, the bands that I kind of like are all uh, Texas is the Reason, Sam I Am, that kind of stuff, Chris, Christy Front Drive. So it's all 90s based stuff. So I would say it's a very 90s influenced album if anything, and it's got that, whether it's, whether it's indie rock, it's definitely <laughs> firmly in the 90s. I don't seem to have got any further past that yet, that decade <laughs> for me. But, but, I'd say, but I'd say that that's nice. where it is. But Buffalo Tom as well is probably one of the biggest sort of uh, influences. So you, you kind of, uh, indie rock, I suppose, in a way, is what we are, but we fall into the kind of bit of the punk genre and a bit of the punk, pop punk genre as well. I call it alternative rock, personally. Yeah. But <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, that means so many different things these days. Well, so. that's, that's, that's why I said it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what, have you been, what have you been doing since Sassy came out? Um, how have you been <laughs> reaching out to your fans? So, we played quite a lot of gigs after Sassy came out, but we've been really... I, I put my hand on my heart and say very rubbish at trying to uh, publicize the band so we were kind of building up a bit of a following we had a few gigs throughout the late uh, 2019 and um, it was all going really well and then <laughs> Ben went ice skating one day and <laughs> yeah. fell over and uh, yeah. broke his arm. So I actually we forgot stopped. about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so we kind yeah. of stopped for, for, for a couple of months. And then we started practicing again this year. So we missed out on our Christmas gigs, but we've just been kind of gigging. But then this year, of course, we had gigs to come in, shows to do, March time, and we never even got to even announce them because one by one, they've all fallen by the wayside. And then since then, I mean, as a, as a band, we've actually only met physically once in the last eight months. Yeah. And that was when the restrict, the, yeah, the restrict, restrictions are at their lightest and uh, so we haven't been rehearsing I've been writing still uh, we have five new songs already in the hat but we will we'll probably need to relearn the whole set all over again <laughs> including yeah. sassy yeah, yeah including sassy so we're kind of stuck really 
we have the songs it's just that we don't have the means to record them or rehearse them at the moment and to even play them so I suppose in a way it's on pause it's going to be like hopefully 1919 uh, sorry 2019 straight into 2021 and this year can just be a blip but we're ready yeah. we could go into the studio after a few rehearsals and probably record another EP just like that but yeah. <laughs> I mean, just just in, just in, just in case you're unaware, over over there, it's like in in England, uh, we haven't been able to do any gigs at all this year because it's yeah. all part of the lockdown. We've not yeah. been able to get into rooms to practice together, um, so you mm -hmm. know it's just all part of the restrictions. We can't do physically do anything. The whole country is is like you know, there's no gigs happening. Uh, bands have been able to practice you know a, a little bit but not yeah. not for very long it's about a month and then it's all gone back so we're not we're not allowed to mix in households again I mean, we do because we live together obviously because because we're married <laughs> but uh um, Are you? oh yeah well I, I don't know if our audience knows that but <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah so it's not it's not because we've been lazy all year we literally are not allowed to do anything over here at the moment <laughs> we're stuck yeah but and it's looking like it's going to be next year until we can actually do anything. Yeah. To be fair. So, so in a way, we kind of released Sassy right at the wrong moment, in a way. We uh, released it with six months of normal life left, and then it's all changed to yeah. this, this dystopian future that we are currently living in. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you guys release the CD? Uh, who helped you out, and how did you come in contact with them? So it actually, it, it, became, it came together so easy for us, to be fair, being honest. Um, a friend of mine, a guy called Wayne Hyde, who uh, owns um, and runs Disillusion Records. We'd already been chatting. I've been telling him about the type of music and then he got some very early versions of it and wanted to get on board straight away. And he had some quite close connections with David of Engineer Records. So engineer wanted to get on, involved in the cd but prior to that just say no to government music records had already got in touch with us so we we would sign up to do the cd with them and i would say really it's through friends the guy who runs just say no is a, a gentleman we met on our very 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 first gig uh, and he came up to us and said we sounded like a band called drive which was a sort of a punk rock band from the sort of 90s again or late 80s in liverpool and um, that was it. And we recorded it, got back in touch with him, sent the artwork. One of our friends did all the artwork for us. We, we had total control over everything. And, um, and then David come along after the release and was keen to do the next one with us, whatever that may be. But um, I utilized his sort of knowledge and his connections. And that's how you guys ended up with a, with a copy of the CD, as did many other people as well. And it was, it was great to see it uh, be recognized on the other side of the world to be fair it was nice and uh but uh, yeah david and wayne have been instrumental to it and, and a guy called andy as well so we are just sort of uh, we were very very lucky it was just so easy th th to be fair they just one day turned up all, all done all the artwork everything <laughs> 500 of them and it was like wow i really didn't have to do much this time but it's uh, but yeah so it just worked out really nicely for us and suddenly we were just able to put them out and start selling them and and it's just yeah and that, that's all kind of died off because of course we really? can't push anything really <laughs> yeah oh yeah there's uh, i am so you ever just happen to have one to hand yeah we had a kid there yeah yeah it's also very cool yeah we 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 would try and do vinyl, but at the moment, again, that's very difficult at this moment in time. But if, if that opportunity ever came up, we would jump at that one as well. But uh, cassettes, the most analog we've got at this moment in time. Yeah. Those would go over <laughs> well in the States. I know a lot of people who uh, love tapes. Really? Yeah. It's, I think it's a, it's a new, it's, it's the new thing, isn't it? It's like following yeah. vinyl's got very expensive now. So tapes are like a little bit more easy to get hold of. And, yeah. and they are nice as well. It's nice to, that's what I like. I, I'm a nerd with that kind of way, like vinyl, like CDs. I don't like the, I don't mind streaming stuff, but I'd rather have the actual physical copy. And that's yeah. why, you know, Sassy was, was always going to be a release physically one way or the other for us. So it's nice. 
that's uh that's part of why i i talk to bands uh like yourselves because um i'm interested in people who are motivated by putting out a physical copy it's it's more it's more about an experience and kind of handing off from the band to the fans, you know, rather than just yeah. putting it out streaming. It's it's more of an experience, something tangible. Yeah, the whole whole package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's something, it's something tangible to hold. Yeah. Yes. And, and yeah, we, I think we all come from the same school where the artwork was a big part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, that's, uh, I, prefer, I like to have a physical copy in my hand. I like to have the artwork and everything, you know. <laughs> Sit there, read the lyrics <laughs> if you can, and all that. Yeah, kind of yeah. Stuff. Something but, yeah, to show. <laughs> see where, see where, see where it was recorded, and all that kind of stuff. I like yeah. to have the information. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, what's next for you guys uh, after lockdown? Your recording. Uh, what, what? Yeah, I reckon that'll be the first thing. What what can we yeah. just gonna be from the new songs? So the new stuff is is again I'd say an extension of sort of how sassy sounds, but I used to be in a in an emo band many years ago called Cape Canaveral. So I was obsessed with space. So we were named after the place in, in the US and where they launched all the rockets from. And um Sassy was a bit of a, that was 10 years ago. So Sassy was a bit more of a kind of a, a, an attempt to be anti that for a while because it was, all the songs were at least half the length, all under three minutes, whilst everything in Cape Canaveral was at least six, seven minutes, five minutes long. And the whole point of Sassy was kind of um, to move away from that completely, but over lockdown and all that, listening to those records again and what's influenced me and having a lot of time on my hands, those sort of sounds have come in and the songs have probably elongated a little bit more much to probably their annoyance because it's like it's just longer songs are when well i'm not that young and it's it kills me so but it's it's me writing those songs but uh, <laughs> but yeah i would say much more, more the same theme of stuff but a lot more space in them as well probably less less pop punky sort of sounding with a bit more sort of a, a nemo tinge i would say great uh, Although one of them sounds, I tried to rip off Jawbreaker with one of them, and I think I was quite successful with that. So that might come up <laughs> oh. quite well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jawbreaker, another band I absolutely love as well. I love Jawbreaker. Uh, Biv Bivouac is yeah, my favorite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bivouac's a fantastic album as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, 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 that's the first one, isn't it? No, no, no. It's the second. Yeah, I love the first yeah. two. Brilliant. <laughs> So yeah. before we sign off, I just wanted to ask if there's anything you guys want to announce or tell your fans how to get in touch with you or anything you want to talk about uh, just before we wrap things up. Yeah, I was just going to say, look, we're, we're over in England. We're in Nottingham. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're not on Twitter, to be fair. don't even know how that works in my world. But uh, come <laughs> and find us. Come and find us on Facebook. We're we're under Punch Drunk Punks. Uh, come and find us. We've got videos and stuff on there. We are totally on pause at this moment in time, but we'd love to find new people from across the pond and come and find us. Come follow us. Come and like us, and then you'll be in line to know when we will do something again in the future. As soon as, <laughs> and as, soon as we're you know, allowed to. <laughs> yeah, we can come off pause and uh, do something different, and you know. I'd love to get over to, to the States as well. There's the fest and things like that would be oh, yeah, just, yeah. you know, brilliant. But I know all of those are things are kind of on pause. So it is, it's, it's yeah. waiting for that pause button to come off. But I think, yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of people with a lot of energy when that does finally happen. Oh, yeah, I know I have. every time I pick the yeah. guitar up, it's, it's like, oh, come on, let's just do this again. So yeah. when we are ready, yeah, come and find us and we'll let you all know. It's as simple as that. And thank you ever so much. Thank you guys yeah. so much for your time. That's thank all right. You. No, thank you very no much worries. for having us on. Have a good day. Yeah, well, we will. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks very much. Take care. Cheers.